Hey everybody, this video is about Aurora speakers from Heiko, a German-based speaker company founded back in 1949. All of their speakers are completely designed and engineered in Deutschland with the Aurora models made in Asia. They create speakers that last for decades while providing sound that is pleasing to the ear over the long term. Another important part about their design is that all of the speakers in the Aurora series are very easy to push with a modest home theater receiver, meaning you can put more of your investment into great speakers. If you're watching this from the US, you may have never even heard of Heiko speakers. They have just recently been announced in the US market, but have been one of Europe's most popular speaker brands for decades. Now, some of the Aurora models have been heralded by independent US-based reviewers as offering extraordinary value for their price. I thought it would be really fun to take a deeper look at the Aurora series to dive into the tech that makes these speakers so exceptional. So just what does it take to make a speaker truly great? I can tell you for sure, it is not just one thing, but a fusion of many aspects that come together to deliver considerably better sound than the competition. In the affordable price ranges of the Aurora models, you pretty much have to manufacture a speaker like this in Asia, but what helps that Heiko apart is their 70 plus years of speaker engineering experience. Now, when most people talk about speakers, they usually look at the speaker drivers themselves, which are certainly an extremely important part of an outstanding speaker speaker, but the best drivers in the world do you no good if the cabinet you put them in is lackluster. The Heiko engineers came up with one of the most brilliant ideas I've seen in years for the cabinet. One way to damp vibrations is to bond different types of materials to each other so that when they're connected together, they cancel out vibrations. Heiko does this in two ways with their Aurora speakers. One you can see and one you cannot. First, they create a resin material that is shaped into what looks like an L. This attaches to the front and top of the speaker cabinet. The cabinet itself is already made from almost one inch thick MDF, which is really good by itself, but this additional resin piece really damps things down. Plus, it just looks flat out beautiful. The speaker components are mounted to this polished resin, which makes them look stupendous with the grills off. What you do not see is the additional PVC compound they mount to the rear of the inside of the speaker cabinet. All of this tech is very impressive, and the fact that they can do it for the relatively low cost of the Aurora models is spectacular. Another noteworthy part of the Aurora models is the very high quality binding post Heiko puts on the rear, which assure you of a solid connection even with very heavy speaker cables. Most floor standing speakers these days come with spikes to keep them from rocking on carpet, but with the Heiko models being pretty large, they added an additional outrigger base for them. This not only looks really cool and adds far more stability than spikes under the cabinet, it is super simple to get them perfectly level and locked in. These phenomenal cabinets house some impressive driver technology Heiko has invented over the years. At Audio Vice, we are big believers in speakers that are easy to drive and have a higher sensitivity rating, which usually makes the speaker more dynamic. One big limiting factor on dynamic limitations of a speaker is the tweeter, which is the small part that reproduces is the high frequency sounds. Heiko has been perfecting their Fluctus tweeter for many years. It has the desired dynamic properties from a horn type driver with a very linear dispersion pattern across the range it covers. Heiko designed a tweeter flange with multiple small horns to accomplish this. These great tweeters also extend way out beyond human hearing to 42,500 hertz, which gives them a very open and effortless character. You can see in the cutaway below how much goes into the Fluctus tweeter. The Cones used for the bass and mid-range drivers have another great story behind them. Just after the turn of the last mid-century was a golden age for speaker development. The early and late 60s had some remarkable designs for their time. When Heiko went back and studied these, they discovered all of the most highly regarded models used a similar type of paper cone. Their engineers were determined to blend this older technology with the latest speaker science and came up with a creative idea. They take German-made wool fibers along with a special chemical blend they develop and run this with the paper pulp through a special machine that stretches the fibers out and embeds them into the paper cone, greatly increasing its stiffness. We also like the fact they source their paper pulp from renewable forests in Canada and Europe. Heiko calls this their craft paper cone. 
Now, you may think they reserve all this great technology we just went over for the top of the line models, but this is what is so amazing about their Aurora models. Every single one of them uses this technology. For home theater enthusiasts, this means a 5.1 system from Heiko will be perfectly timbre matched as the drivers used are identical in design and the tweeters in every single one are exactly the same. I mean, what is not to like about that? We spent a lot of time doing listening tests to the different Heiko models and concluded the specs do not lie. All of them have far more deep bass impact than you would expect for their size. They are all very easy to drive with a modest amp and they are extremely well matched. The Aurora 300 is a mid-size two-way bookshelf speaker. I recommend you set these up on a speaker stand about 24 inches tall or place them on top of a deep cabinet. With the rear firing port, you want to have them at least 12 inches off the back wall. If you spend a little bit of time setting them up, they can produce a great three-dimensional image. Coupled up with the Heiko Sub, 30A is another way to go for even deeper bass if tower speakers are not possible in your room. Use as rears and a Heiko 5.1 system, they will be perfectly blended with the fronts and center. The two floor standing Aurora models, the 700 and 1000, are very special. They are a true three-way design with extensive internal cabinet bracing. The 700 uses a dual 6.5 inch Wolfer design with a 6.5 mid-range driver and the 1000 moves up to a dual 8 inch design with the same mid-range. Both of course share the Fluctus tweeter in all the models with the sensitivity ratings of 92 dB for the 700 and 93 dB for the 1000 you have some speakers that are extremely dynamic. Bass is also super tight, fast, and deep. The 1000 almost gets down to 20 hertz, which is just remarkable for this price range. Live music is dynamic, and these will make you think the band is in your room if you spend some time setting them up. When we were doing our testing on the 700, just about everyone who heard them thought when we told them their price, we were referring to each and not per pair. They are just spectacular for the money. I do have to say though, the 1000, however, is physically pretty imposing. You want a mid-size to large room for these, but boy, do they have a big sound that matches their size. They completely are at ease with large-scale classical to hard rock. While you can push them with a small amp just fine, we did try them with some large amps and they got even better. If you have the space for these, they are well worth the difference for their increased bass and dynamic capability. With the exact same tweeter and the same Kraft paper comb mid-range Wolfers, the Aurora 30 center channel is the perfect match for the 300, 700, or 1000. It uses dual five and a half inch drivers with the Fluctus tweeter. Like the other models, it is dynamic so you can hear into all the subtle emotions of performers' voices. It also has very deep bass response for a center channel, which means you'll want to decouple it from the cabinet it is sitting on using rubber feet or speaker isolation pods so it does not excite your TV cabinet. Having that deep bass reach also means it blends really well with even the 1000 for very consistent sound across the front. The Heiko Sub 30A gives you a tremendous amount of tech for its price. Usually at this price range, you expect to see an eight inch or 10 inch woofer with a class D amp and a generic cabinet. The 30A uses a stiff 12 inch long throw craft paper cone with a real class AB power amp. That is the type of amp design you see in high performance audio separate components. You also get crossover, phase, and level controls on the rear. Like the tower speakers, its bass reaches deep, yet it's very tight, and since it's inexpensive enough, some people might consider two of them. Our Heiko 5.1 home theater consisted of a pair of 1000s in the front and the 30 center channel and a pair of Ambient 22F wall mounted Heiko speakers for the rears all coupled up with one 30A subwoofer. This complete system, when we tested it, came up just slightly over three grand for all of the speakers. Add in the receiver and while it is more than many sound bars, it gives you one of the most well matched home theater systems we have heard. When we tried the new version of Midway, you could literally feel the impact of the aircraft guns. Yet on The Greatest Showman, you could hear every whisper of emotion and the voices of the performers. Baby Driver probably impressed us the most as this has a lot of music in the surround channels with perfectly timbre matched speakers all around, the sense of immersiveness was amazing. 
Whether you're looking to upgrade your stereo system with better speakers or thinking about moving from a soundbar to separate components, we highly recommend you take a look at this Heiko Aurora lineup. For those of you just getting into home theater, check out our home theater central on our website where you can use our free home theater designer to lay out your room and get lots of tips and inspiration from the articles and video galleries we have. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our latest content. Also, make sure you check out our Instagram and TikTok where we post even more content and offers. We'll see you next time.